Good afternoon. Once again, this is your professor down here, once again here in the Hamlin community here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina on this 14th day of November of 2018. And if I get emo if I get very emotional during this live cast right now, please pardon, please pardon that because this is something that I cannot hold back and this is something that I have to let out because yes, there as the saying goes, real men do cry. Right now, I, right now I'm on that right now I'm on Atlanta Drive right now. And I'm right I'm actually I actually right I'm actually right down not too far not too far where my aunt where my aunt Nana lives at. Hello sister Mamie, how you doing? Hello brother Zarikor, brother Anthony and brother Louie. And um and my aunt and one of my cousins sat one of my cousins has showed me this and I have and I'm actually in front of it right now as I am going to show and tell you right now. Back in March of back in March of this year the most horrendous um the most horrendous crime had took right here on this street and on the, and in this area right here this past march of this year in which of some of you have seen some of my posts of my four, of my four relatives that of my four relatives that were killed this is the home of where they all had lived at and it is also um Two of my, you know, these are these are my cousins. These are all these are my cousins, the Manigault, all, and these are all of my blood. These are all of my blood relatives on my on my grandmother's side, and 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 the, and like I said, back in March, uh, back in March of this year, the most horrendous crime that had um that had took that to, that just took place here, where four people, where four people were killed and found dead in this home right here. Me standing in front of this looking at it right now, it gets me very emotional and it gets me very angry of what had happened because they did not have to go that way. This is um, my, my Babio, Rosemary, Faith and, um, and Ken, Kenya and Faith Manigo, my youngest cousin, who was who was 15 years old their lives just taken just way too early and I just want to just say to each and every one of you you know for those you know that have saw this post I thank you all so much I thank you all so much for all the prayers and all for all of the prayers and all of the support and I have been following, I had also have been following this as well also too, you know, with all of the news, you know, with all of the newspapers and with all of, and with all of the articles, you know, that, that I have, that I have been reading from here. And, you know, like, like I said, you know, like I said before, it gets, I get emotional about it and I get very angry because, because they did not have to, they did not have to go, they did not have to go the way that they did the way that it the way that it happened that's what that's what part my friends for saying was that's what the hell pisses me off about it because because these are love because these are love these are loving people that did not that just did not that just did not harm a soul or anyone these are people that was these are people that was loved by the community these are people that you know if you know if you, if you needed anything they were always especially Bobby especially my cousin Bobby oh, who will always you know who will always will, will lend you would lend you the shirt off of his back because that is just the type of family that they were and we have re we have received a whole outpouring love of support, and I do mean, and I do mean an outpouring of love and support from everyone in the community, including including the mayor, including the mayor of Mount Pleasant here, that sent all of us a letter, including myself, that sent that, that sent the hope, that sent the family a letter expressing expressing you just expressing his condol his condolences to us because this because this had hit all of us very very hard very hard including myself as well also too and i have met them i have seen them before yes i have because 
Because as my Aunt Nana tells me, the Manigo family, we are big. We are, we are a very, very large family. And like I said, you know, and like I said before, it was, it was also, it was also definitely time for me to be, for me to come down this way and to be with, and to be with my family, you know, in the, in the, in the, Miss in the light of all of what's been going on this year, and plus, plus, not only that, also my aunt Catherine, who went on to be with the Lord, you know, months, you know, months after this, because Bobbio was her brother, and it was just, believe me, it was just way too much. It was just way too much, and she had made a transition, and along with um, another family member, and also um, my uncle Tom, my uncle Thomas. Who went to be with the Lord and also and also my cousin Isaac as well, making it a total of eight. This has been a very, very damn tough year for all of us. I'm being real right now. This has been a very damn tough year for my whole entire family. But let me but I can just say and tell you all of you this right now. It is because of the love and the support and all of the prayers of all from each and from each and every from each and every one of you that has been that has been reaching out to us it means a lot to me and it means a lot to my family and I thank you and we all thank you and we just ask and we just still ask you to, to still continue to keep us in prayer especially especially with the four you know with my four cousins that was killed back in March right behind at the right behind this home that this home that you see right here right here on Atlanta Drive and like you know like I said before this you know this mur this has just rocked this whole entire just rocked this whole entire community to where um you know to you know to where you know, we're still we're still asking we're still asking the que we're just still asking the question why you know why you know why this had to happen in which I'm still in which I am not going to really going to get get into it I only shared this you know only with a couple of close people in which I am going to remain anonymous about that but like I said you know like I said before I'm just so blessed you know just you know just to be down here and also going also going to go see my mama as well and also to spend Thanksgiving with her as well and we don't know uh, you don't know, you know all I can just say is we don't know when our time is here but all we just have to do is just live and take each day at a time that's all we have to do just take each day at a time and every and everything is going and everything is going to be okay everything's going to be fine and you know with the hot with the holidays as well it's even it's even more tough it's even more tough on us because that because they're not, they're not even here and the only thing that we and the only thing that you know that we have is um is is just just the memories that we have of them and also just remember just remembering them as who the as who they are but once again like i said i thank each and every one i thank each and every one of you for keeping us in prayer during this time we thank you i thank you all so much for the love and the support and all of and all of the prayers because it is because of your prayers is how is how we're all get is how we get all getting through all getting through this it is the prayers Everyone that's been calling me, everyone that's been reaching out to me, and I also have to thank Pastor Rudy Trujillo of Faith Center over in San Fernando for even even reaching out to me. I thank you so much, brother. You and Sister Annette, you and Sister Annette as well, also too. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much because this really has been very emotional for me. You know, go, you know, going, you know, come going around visiting, you know, visiting family, and even also meeting some for the very first time. To where, to where I had to, to where I just break out, I just break out in tears. Yes, real, yes, real men do cry. I can tell you that real men do cry. But at the same time, me coming here, me coming here today and stand and standing in front of this home of where my four relatives was killed, I now have got that. I now have got that closure, and I have, re and I have now received. I have now received that closure to now to know that to know right now that I can I can move I can also continue to move on and also 
and also continue to move forward and also to continue to move forward at the same time as well and um like and like i said before what i'm gonna what's gonna be on my plate tonight that you have that you're going to have that is going what you will have to find out and before i go any further let me do some quick let me do my quick shout outs as well hey brother louie brother anthony brother z sister mamie of youngstown how you doing sister ingrid and brother eddie hey brother frank don't you work too hard over there today hey brother william how you doing brother marco sam Jose, Darrow, Brother Darcy, California, and Alonzo all in the Bronx. Thank you all so much for watching. And for those of you and those and over you, those of you that's tuning in and watching, I am now the professor, also known as the Kingdom Reporter, but in this case, I am the professor. I'm in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina for the two for a two week two week vacation ho holiday vacation, being with my family and also for Thanksgiving as well. And I'm about to um, I'm about to go get going to go get something to eat very shortly. And I'm just and I'm still and I'm still going to enjoy enjoy the rest of the rest of the day and also the remainder of my vacation and my trip as well also too and i also do just want to say um to my to my cousins bobbio rosemary faith and kenya the four you know the four that with the four that was killed just a few months back in march of this year in front of this house is that i love you is that i love you guys i miss you and uh, i miss you that's all that's all that I, that's all that I can um oh man excuse me oh man that's all that I can that's all that I can say right that's all that I can say right that's all that I can really can just say right now thank you so much thank you so much Mamie God continue to bless you as well and like I said before thank you guys thank you all so much once again thank you thank you thank you thank you so much once again this is the professor here in the here in this Hamlin community here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, right now, and you all know. But but now this time I'm going to do the shorter. I'm going to do a much more shorter version. If no one hasn't told you that they don't love you today, remember that I do, and so does the Lord. Do take care of yourself, and do take care of yourself. Please be safe out there, and also to my also to my cousins Bobbio, Rosemary. Faith and Kenya Manigault. In memory of all of you, God rest your God rest your souls, all of you. All of you. May you all rest in peace and also rest in heaven. And sleep in heaven.